All right. So if you remember in our uh, our last series, I was dealing with a uh, neighbor who was chopping wood really late at night. Now that same neighbor is sawing wood. So if you hear any of that in the background, I apologize. Let's go ahead and take a look at the finished product here. Um, and I'll note that unlike the tracker program we made uh, in the last set of videos, um, I'm not going to add bootstrap or anything like to this, uh, which means, you know, it looks pretty ugly. So uh, just straight HTML. Um, but if you've done previous videos with us, you know how easy it is to convert this into something really nice looking. Uh, purpose of this video really is to just get your understanding of a PDO. So you'll see here, uh, it's actually a very similar layout to the uh, tracker app, just with uh, no styling. And in this series, we're going to be updating a table for users, just a you know mock table where you can come in here and you can add a user. And boom, they add to the list. You can come over here and then, so you can also come in here and then make changes to them. So fairly simple uh, little deal here, uh, but hopefully enough to give you an idea of how you can use PDO and how you could maybe start to refactor your old code uh, to incorporate PDO. And one last thing I want to show you before we get started is uh, you might see other tutorials use different terminology uh, or variable names. Uh, this doesn't matter. It's really up to you. Uh, in this series, I decided to stick with the uh, term DBC so that we can stay consistent with our other series and videos.